Hi there, Dave here. I just wanted to show you something which I've been using for quite a few years now. And if you're an affiliate marketer or you want to be an affiliate marketer, this may be a path or a route that you may wish to go down. Uh, no matter what country you're from, whether in the UK, uh, the US, Australia, it doesn't matter. Anywhere in the world you can do this. And it's basically just uh, a WordPress plugin and it harnesses the power of combining all the networks um such as affiliate when in fact i'll show you what they are here um all these affiliate networks from affiliate window uh you've got a uh, commission junction uh, amazon that's a big one um that's set up slightly different to the rest of them but once you set that up you're good to go share a sale trade doubler web gains uh rakuten uh, there's all the big ones uh what you'd need to do is sign up to uh, each one of these and then you've got access to literally hundreds of different uh, websites, companies and things like that. that that's what I do uh, and uh, I make money quite regularly just doing it that way. So let's delve a little deeper and I'll show you exactly what Data Feeder is all about. And as it says here, it's an easy affiliate store creation, uh, which is true. Uh, like anything, you will need to get your head around a few things as to how it works but there's a lot of videos here and the support of Stefan and Eric are top notch and I kid you not they get back to me within a matter of hours uh, I've never had to wait more than three or four hours for a response so to say uh, 24 hours for a response is more than enough they are really on the ball when it comes to uh, using the support which is on their forum and like I said they've got videos to help you through setting these up as well so this is just one example um, so taking this cooker for example and what you can do there's a couple of things that you can do and one of them is by creating a comparison set as you can see here so what I've done say that I've um, affiliate networks with him too and then Amazon it's his own network and then let's say that uh, trade doubler is got Sonic Direct that might or may not be accurate but I'm just giving you an idea so I've signed up to them affiliate networks and then I signed up to these what you call merchants and here what you can do then is promote their products all their data feeds that's where they get these prices from for this particular product are all coming into data feeder and that basically, uh, you, you can, once you signed up to the merchant, you can get all the information from the data feed and then you can list it as a comparison set here. So, for example, you've got the Leisure GRB 6G VR, and if you used to buy now, it would open up British Home Store page with that particular model and with the price there. Uh, the majority of the time, the prices are accurate. Uh, it depends on how quickly each merchant is updating their data feed, um, which sometimes is a few days lag, uh, but they, uh, it's, uh, it's pretty uh, spot on most of the time, to be honest with you, say about 80-90% of the time, and then usually just catches itself up. you just got to wait for the data feed to update through data feeder, so that to avoid confusion. So that's one uh, example and what you can also do, you can literally create a store. Now this is just a basic store because I tend to use the comparison sets more than anything. And as you can see, uh, what I've done here, I've got um, a tents page and I've just literally listed a load of tents all in one page. And then you can go to the next page. This, you know, if somebody's looking to buy a tent and you drive them to here, then uh, you can just um, get them to look at literally dozen scores if not hundreds of different tents all with different prices and you, you can click on details there and it'll give them more information uh, to this specific da gamma 5 tent for example and then there you go your visit store so you can create actually create a website purely through data feeder by gathering all the data's uh, provided by the merchants one thing that you do want to um, pay attention to though uh, is don't just necessarily think that you can get data feeder bang a load of this content on your website and then you'll get ranked and then it'll convert uh, it doesn't necessarily work like that because all this information is information that is currently being used on other websites so you've got two options there either one uh, recreate the content here or two uh, actually there's three options or two create a, a website like I have and uh, use comparison text and then use unique uh, text or the third option is to um, pull 
um, traffic from other various sources. So I wouldn't rely on SEO for that. Uh, you can do paid traffic. That's probably a popular option as long as you're, um, you know, uh, being profitable with it. Uh, there's, there's many other forms of traffic that you could consider uh, to drive traffic to this. I mean, it doesn't even have to be a big website. It just has to be a specific item with one page and you can drive traffic to that. I'm, I'm sure, I, I mean, this isn't a traffic lecture. This is just basically a way of how to monetize a page. Um, I mean, traffic, uh, you either know or there's probably other videos here that uh, will be able to help you with that on my subscribe list. But... Um, yeah, that's um, going back to the data feed. It's just a really great way of monetizing a page, really, and finding products which are specific either to a website that you've currently got, or if you're starting from scratch and you want to go into a certain niche, or if you want to target specific um, products, like here, this is a camping website. And then there's uh, another website here, uh, which is that one there, uh, Fridge Freezers. And again, you can see that you know one there's like 10 different uh, stores uh, merchants here all again you have to sign up to them and um, you know through the affiliate networks and then pull the, the data feeds the factory itself inside is very easy to use you have got to get your head around it probably spend an hour or two getting your head around it and then you're good to go and it is really simple and you just literally use a bit of short code that you pop in your WordPress page. If you don't know what short code is, it's just a little line of text and you change the number that's in the line of text, which corresponds to the certain group that you've created here. If it sounds complicated, it's not. Um, it's uh, Once you've done one or two, you'll be up and running after a few. It's that easy. Okay, so that's just basically, I just wanted to show you what Data Feeder is all about. I think it's an absolutely excellent um, plugin, like I say, it's for WordPress, and there's various other features. If you go to the home page here, you'll be able to find more information. Uh, pricing is there as well if you want to take a look at that. Very reasonable prices if you just want to stay uh, start on one site, you can do. Uh, if you want to go for the full unlimited, which is what I'm on, then you can crack websites out pretty quickly. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's basically it for now. I hope that was helpful and uh, I hope you make good use of data feeder like I have. Thanks for watching.